children you have seen the previous video which says about singular plural right today we are going to continue the singular plural as i said you like there are different tricks there are different tricks to remember the singular plural how to make the singular into plural right so today we are going to do the worksheet number 123 and the video number is 82 so let's get started in the previous video we had learnt about the words which are ending with sh ch s ss x and o what happens to these words if they are ending with them we will just add es to the word which we are given to make it a plural form so my little ones let's get to the examples and see what it is so we have learned in the last class when you have word ending with sh so what do you make to make it plural you just add es to it right brush has become brushes so now it's ending with ch bench bench is ending with ch so we added es to make it a plural form we didn't change anything just we added it for the word ending with x fox we just added es to it to make it as plural foxes glass it's having ss at the end so what did we do we added same es to make it a plural form glass became glasses then we have bus bus is having one s at the end so in that case also we write es to make it as a plural form bus became buses okay children next mango you have o at the end of the word so here too we write es brush became brushes bench became benches fox became foxes glass became glasses bus became buses mango became mangoes because they are ending with sh ch x s s s and o but little ones as i told you few words though it ends with o you are not supposed to add es for it i told you last time you need to by heart these very few words they are very few if you by heart these words here there is no need to by heart these few words you must learn it by heart so that you will know when a word comes with o you need to put s so that is by heart in your mind but whereas the other ones you will just write es look here you can see it is you have piano it's ending with o but we have written only s for it to make it pianos we have bamboo o we have just written s for it to make bamboos photo it became photos by adding only one s there's no e for it then radio we have so all these are ending piano bamboo photo radio they are ending with o just like mango but mangoes we wrote es but these are few words which you don't need to write es you need to write only s to make it as a plural this is what we have learned in the last class we learned that in the last class isn't it today we are going to learn another topic another trick we'll read it here to form plural of a word that ends in f e that ends in f e or what do we do we have f 
or F E. If it's going to end in F or F E, what are you going to do? You are going to take them, throw it in the sea. You are going to take them and throw in the sea or throw it in the dustbin and write V E S in that place. Okay, children? If the word is ending with F or F E, you will take that, throw it in the sea or throw it in the dustbin and add V E S for it. Let's see a few examples. We have K N I F E. This is ending with F E. So we will throw this in the sea and in this place we will write like this. K N I. In the place of F E we are writing V E S. So we are removing that F E and writing V E S. Now coming to L E A F. We have F. We don't have E after F. So we will cut this F and write L E A V E S in the place of F. So my little ones, we have here T H I E F. We have this E before F. It is before F. So you will not take that E. You need to remember here when F and E, that is E is after the F, then only you will cut them together. But F is before. You can see here it is before. It is not after. It is before F. So you will not cut this F. Sorry, you will not cut this E. You will cut only F. So you will write T H I E as it is. This E you are not removing or not throwing it. You are keeping it as it is. In the place of F you are writing V E S. Because E is to the left side. Here E is to the right side. We take E and throw it off only if it is on the right side. That is after F. Now we have shell here. Ending with F. So what do we do? We write shelf as it is. This F we take it off. Throw it in the C. In that place we write V E S. That's it. Then we have Y. We have E after the F. So we take both together and throw them in the C. In that F E place we write V E S. And now children, as I told you, the words ending with O, some words are there, right? Very few, maybe very few, maybe one maximum 10. Such words, we are remembering them, we are by hearting them, right? Same way, you have in this also few words which end with F, which end with F, but we don't throw them, we don't cut them, we don't throw them in the sea or dustbin. We keep them as they are and just add S to make it plural. So, roof. It is F. So we write R O O F and then S. We add S for the given word. Next children we have dwarf. Dwarf also has F at the end. It also has F at the end but we write it as dwarfs. We don't make any Throwing or putting in the trash. We write as it is and add S for it. Then chef. Chef, a person who cooks right in the restaurants, hotels, chef. So F it is ending but you will write it as chefs. So children, 
I just want you to know the difference of it by doing the worksheet what we have. We have few words. Let's do the worksheet. So we have life, isn't it? E is after the F. So we cut these two and write it as L I V E S. It becomes lives. In the place of F E, we are taking them and throwing them and writing V E S. Here knife we have E after the F. So you cut it and write knives. K N I V E S. V E S is written. Next we have wife. The same thing. Cut that and then write in that place V E S. Wife became wives. Then you have a word leaf. In leaf we don't have E. We have only F. So we cut the F and write L E A V E S. In F place, we got V E S. Leaf became leaves. Wolf. Here also we don't have E. We have only F. So we cut it off and we write wolves. We write wolves. F has turned into V E S. The next we have leaf. Here we have only F. So, we cut this. Sorry children, this is loaf, not this is O. This is O, not E. So, loaf, loaf of bread. So, we cut this F. And write L O A V E S. Loaf became loaves. We have thrown that F in the C and written V E S. Then again we have shell. There's no E. We have only F. So we cut it and then we write shells. S H E L V E S. Then after that we have half, H-A-L-F, half. It's ending with F. So what are we going to do? We are going to throw it away, cut it off and write in that place we write V-E-S. Half become halves. Then we have thief. So thief, E is on the other side. So, we are not going to touch the E, we are going to only throw F because E is before F. So, what are we going to write now? T H I E V E S. So, children, life has become lives, knife has become knives, wife became wives, leaf became leaves. Wolf became wolves, loaf became loaves, shelf became shelves, half became halves, thief became thieves. My little ones, as I said, some words doesn't change though they are ending with F, isn't it? When there is F, you just simply add S for it as I told you in the beginning. And cliff. There is F at the end of the word, cliff. But we are not going to do any cutting. We are going to just add S for it. Dwarf, as I told you, it's ending with F. You need to add only S for the given word. Then you have chief, chief, chief captain, okay, chief head. So, E is before it and it's ending with F. But still, we are not going to do anything. We will just add S to make chief to chiefs. Then proof also we have F here. It's ending with F. 
but we are not going to touch it. Instead, just write S for it. So, the words ending with O, some words you have memorized it, you have by hearted it. Few, just very few, isn't it? Same way, these words also you need to by heart. And the rest of the things which are ending with F or F E, you will cut them and in that place you will write V E S. That is about this topic. The trick what we have learned today is if the word is ending with F or F E, you will cut off the F, F E and write V E S in that place. And for few words, very few words, there are words ending with F. So those words, you will not cut them, neither throw them. You will keep the word as it is and just write S to make it plural form. So my little ones, this is about this topic. Hope you all understood it. Then bye-bye. See you. Thank you.